Alright, so welcome back guys to my channel and for today, I just want to uh, give you some updates with what I'm doing here right now here in our garden. Let me just close the door because it's very very noisy and before that, I just want to show you this one this very beautiful osteospermum. Look at that. I really love this one. It's white with this um, yellow center flower. It's so beautiful. I don't know, I think I should propagate this one as well and put it in a sunny spot because I think it needs some uh, sunny spot um, somewhere. And what else is happening in here? So I have some of my daffodils that are also starting to um, grow now and show me some flowers. Look at that. There's tiny flower there. And by the way guys, so I just want to uh, give you some updates with what's happening here with my dahlias i'm actually um lifting some of them now just to see if i can divide them and then i'll replant them again so so far what i have in here is sylvia my sylvia just produced a tiny tuber in here but my joey linda look at my joey linda look at that it's a massive tuber in here and here's a small one again this is from my Barbary, my Barbary Glamour and some more of my um, bulbs in here or should I say tubers I have um, Jennifer Mary Ellen there and the Sweet Love, I'm excited to um, remove the Sweet Love from its pot and see how big the tuber is and then what is this one? I think I totally forgot this uh, this is Golden Torch and I still have some of my um, this is freesias. Yeah, these are my freesias that I just put in here. And there's some more, actually. Some more dahlias that I need to remove. And yeah, just want to check. I need to check the tuber just to make sure that they're not rotting. Because unfortunately, I've seen some of those um, tubers or yeah, tubers that are already rotting i don't know for some reason i think probably because i left them um under the rain so it should it should be in shaded but unfortunately uh, yeah i was i was a bit worried that the helicopter is coming in here because i can hear you probably guys can hear the sound of the helicopter i don't know if it's heading my way or what or else yeah i think it's heading my way and i will probably have to stop again my vlog and no i think it's not in my way but i can see it's there can you see guys there you go it's noisy yes anyway so going back in here i think let's just continue um i just want to show you also what's happening here with some of my dahlias look at that some of them are really growing so fast so this is the one that i just pinch um like two weeks ago was it two weeks ago yes i think so my last vlog if you have seen my last vlog about pinching my dahlias so that's it and this one as well i think i need to pinch this as well so that's probably what i'm gonna be doing right now so there you go i pinched this one as well and this two soon to be pinched and what else is happening in here this is my wizard of oz and another oh no this is not wizard of oz this is my corali some of my um cafe ole seeds seedlings i mean i think um it's being eaten by by slugs i suspect slugs so yes and i'm actually so glad to see that one of my um, seeds, cafe ole seeds from last year, the pink one, the big pink one. It's starting to show me some shoots, which is this one. Look at that. Let me zoom it in. There you go. So there's the shoot coming up. I think this is the only one. But um, my cafe ole, this one is also showing me some shoots in here and this one definitely another cafe ole look at that i'm just so happy i'm waiting for my ebana hoping in prayer that i have cut the ebana properly so 
I will have a total of three Ivana from one tuber from last year. And what else I have in here? Another cafe ole. And I don't know if this one is cafe ole as well. No, I don't think so. I'm not sure if this is cafe ole. I think I was not able to put the label, but anyway, anyway, whatever it is, for sure this is something interesting because I planted it already. But I'm suspecting that this is probably a wizard of Oz, I think. And yeah, so let me just um, continue doing um, the rest of my bobs behind here, behind our um, room, which is in here. So I will just remove all of these tubers. I just want to check that they are all doing well. And then after that, I may divide them. And yes, and I will update you guys. Okay guys, so finally I'm done lifting my Delia tubers. So as you can see, they are all looking very good and I'm just very happy that um, I didn't see lots of gal. Though I found um, actually two of my Delias unfortunately that has, um, they have gal and but luckily uh, they were also in, in the pot so I was able to um, minimize the spread of um, the disease the gall bacteria so I'm just happy to see that all of them here are all looking good and before I show you the rest of um, my dahlias I'd like to share also with you um, some of my summer plants that I will be having here in our garden so expect to see some more flowers here in our garden in the coming months especially during the summertime when these lilies start blooming and let me just introduce you to my new babies here so this one is my lily eremo and uh, this is a hybrid lily and another lily in here which is called Asiatic lily tiny ink this one is also another Asiatic lily called tiny nugget and that's the flower of it and this one I'm very excited to see this one because it really reminds me of stargazer lily that I have had in the Philippines way back then and this one is called lily fortunato and I have two more sets in here so this one is um, the one they called tiger moon let's just remove the dirt here so this is the tiger moon and this is what it looks like and finally I have this lily called big smile so I'm really hoping hoping I'm really hoping that um, in summertime I will have lots of flowers in here from these lilies and definitely I will share it with you guys once they are all blooming here in our garden and now going back to my daily tubers so aside from this ones I have some more over there look at that I'm just so glad to see these ones they're looking so healthy and the only thing is that I just feel sad because some of them unfortunately rotted um, I think it's because I have left them um, under the rain like these ones some of them were sheltered but some of them are not and most of them that are not sheltered actually yeah almost almost all of them um, have rotted and sadly I don't know if I'm going to buy some more or not anymore probably I won't buy anymore because I have lots of seeds actually to be planted and I still have lots of daily tubers actually in here these are my um, what are these ones this is my cafe ole and this is my wizard of oz I have two more wizard of oz's there and I think I will be able to divide them as well and I have a tuber of florel in here look at this florel very tiny tuber but huge flower so it's not really the tuber that will you know determine the size of the flower guys just FYI and I'm just happy to see also one of my um, daffodils in here it seems like it's white white daffodils double I hope it's double yeah it, I think it's double and they are flowering now and these ones in here are still blooming in fairness it's been more than a week I think that they started blooming and 
some of my um, sweet peas by the way just to give you some updates with my sweet peas they are also blooming I'm uh, not blooming <laughs> they are all uh, doing well so far germinating really good really well and what else I have in here oh my god there's an airplane while I'm doing vlog oh, no. hopefully you guys can still hear me because I think I don't want to cut this video <laughs> and yes some more of my daffodils in here and it's actually raining right now so it's fine when it's raining like this it's fine to expose the the dahlias like this when it's raining somehow it's not gonna desiccate and at the same time it's not going to rot because it's not really buried under the mud you know I think that's one of the reasons why most of my dahlias rotted because they've been under this um, soil for a long time and it was a bit saturated you know and some more of my lupins in here more tubers everywhere so as you can see guys i have just placed my tubers almost everywhere here in our garden i know this is not a good example but um at the moment as you can see um our garden is really looking a bit disorganized at the moment but once this project is done you will see the result of what we are working on in here what i'm working on in here which i'm sharing with you guys and going here more tubers look at that i'm just really happy to see these tubers looking so healthy and yes and i'm also very happy to see my corali these are the cuttings of my corali and now i have lots of Corallis to be planted next season and I just love Corali. I don't know there's something about the color of the flowers and the shape of its flower as well and I just really love it and what else I have in here so yeah most of um, the dahlias that I really love from last season survive and produce lots of um, tubers like for example this one this is my Joey Linda look at the tuber of Joey Linda it's so huge and I also have Jennifer Mary Ellen there um that was supposedly nick sr but it turned out to be um what was that it was a red and white i forgot the name but i will just put the picture and the name here all right so that's it guys i just forgot the name of that one and what else i have in here so yeah as you can see those uh dailies that i used to put in here they they were all fine because they were not exposed under the rain when it's raining and I have some more in here actually they are fine in here so I'm, I'm just gonna leave them here for the meantime and then I will start tidying up um, the garden probably probably now <laughs> starting now and what else I have in here oh, no, there's nothing in here just rubbish and these are I think this is my dazzling dazzling sun yeah dazzling sun and another florel this is yeah this is my florel and this is my emery pole which has really a huge tuber in here these are some other tubers but i don't know what this what what are the color of the flowers i think these are my um seedlings from from last season and what else i have i have one more cornell actually in here one cornell and this one is um this is a karma karma amore and yeah so um i also tidy up this part of our garden our little greenhouse in here and i think i just need to put this um potting mix inside just to make it looking looking good okay and i'm really doing it right now while i'm vlogging anyway so yes and look at this look at these daffodils they are starting to show me these flowers now flower buds and maybe in a few days they are gonna bloom all right guys so i think that would be all for now and again just um a tip even if you are planting your dahlias in the pots like what i've done last um season just make sure if you're going to store them that they're not exposed like this in an open area where it's going to you know uh, get lots of 
water from the rain because it's still gonna it's still gonna rot but luckily yeah still most of my data survived even there are some that didn't so that's the right place for them so maybe next time i'll put them again there or maybe i'll just put it inside our uh, greenhouse next time since i have the containers there already anyway and what else i think that would be all for now guys and um more updates for my summer bulbs next time winter spring bulbs next time and i'm just very happy that i'm seeing you know uh, some improvements now here in our garden somehow everything is kind of like taking its shape especially our pergola there i'm just very happy with what i'm seeing there right now and hopefully our garage will be finished soon and then the supposedly second stage of our project which is this part of our garden should have been done but i think there's something there's a new plan gonna be happening in here so watch out guys um stay tuned for that one and i will definitely keep you posted with um all the activities that i'm doing here in our garden and all the garden renovation update as well and if you have any questions or any comments regarding my gardening activities or anything that you would like to share please feel free to write it down in the comment section down below and i will be glad to see and read all your comments and be able to respond to it if you have any inquiries or concerns about my gardening activities all right guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next one bye for now